I'm going to do a simulated hip injection now and show you how this is approached. I'm not using a sterile technique and I'm not actually going to insert the needle, but I will show you how it's approached. The needle that I've selected is an echo block needle is what it's called. This is a hundred millimeter, approximately four inch needle. You can also use a spinal needle, but in an individual who's large, uh, sometimes you need a special needle like this, which has marks on it that uh, reflect the ultrasound beam and make it much more visible. The orientation will be the same as demonstrated previously. The image on the screen the same as we've seen before, with the femoral neck being the target area. And what I would do is mark with an indelible pen close to the transducer, cleanse this area, anesthetize it, and insert the needle at approximately this angle, parallel to the transducer, so that the needle is as visible as possible. You can check the angle of the needle quite quickly once you see the, the needle coming in on the right top of the screen and adjust the angle depth accordingly. The goal is to, to bring the tip of the needle into the V of the neck and that will be the joint. Now, this injection could be performed with the transducer in a longitudinal position coming in this way or could be done transversely with the transducer in this position. But I'm using an in-plane approach. The needle and the syringe are parallel to the direction of the transducer. I would then insert the needle approximately a centimeter away from the transducer. The closer you get, the more steep the angle has to be to get down to this depth. And so sometimes it's better to be a little distance away from the edge of the transducer. By looking at the screen, you can see that the depth of the marker is nearly four centimeters. And the surface where the tendons are and the bursa is down about two and a half to three centimeters. So I'm going to have to get an angle that gets this down to the depths, and it's going to probably be something like this. The angle will be changed by me as I enter the skin to direct the tip into the structure uh, that I'm aiming for. This can also be injected in a transverse plane this way. Sometimes it's easier to have the alignment going in the same direction as you're looking. So I'm looking across the patient at the ultrasound screen and I now have my transducer pointing in that direction. 